What's up miners, welcome to another video. In this video I will show you how to mine Algorand with the Ominable app and also some other miner programs for the CPU and GPU that will deliver better performance. If you are not familiar with uh, Algorand, I will leave a link in the description so you can check it out. And if we go to coingecko.com we can see that it's currently ranking as number 20 with a price of $1.67. The first thing that you need to do is to get a wallet so you can get your own address to receive funds and you have some options like uh, Trust Wallet, Guarda, Atomic Wallet, something like that. Um, next thing that you need to do is um, open up your starter menu and type Windows Security. And we are going to go to Virus and Threat Protection, scroll down to Manage Settings and Exclusions. We're going to add an exclusion to a folder. In my case, I created a folder under the desktop, which is called exclusions. You can select that one, place the exclusion there. This will allow you to download all the files that are needed uh, without them being flagged as malware, even though they are not. So next thing is to go to onminable.com, click download, um, go here to the um, uh, MFI version, download this file, the one on the left and save it in the in your exclusion folder okay press ctrl j in chrome keep dangerous file keep anyway show in folder and then right click this file and extract here so we have the unminable miner app we can right click it and run as administrator once the program loads click continue if you have a graphics card with at least 4 GB of memory, click graphics card, otherwise select CPU, click next. Then you are going to look for algo in the drop down list, select the coin and enter your address to receive uh, the coins. Use this um, code E4XD-WMZL, this will allow you to drop the pool fee from 1% to 0.75%, click start. Allow this um, process a couple of minutes to ramp up. In the meantime, check your settings, make sure you are in high intensity, you have the name of the worker, your code, you can save and click save and restart. And then on the lower left corner, in a matter of seconds, we are gonna see our hash rate popping up. This will confirm that we are mining because we are making all the connections to the pool. It's around 1,300, 1,200. It will um, variate a little bit. I'm going to click stop and I'm going to show you a different way of mining that delivers better performance. So this is the second way of mining and it is uh, using directly the programs, the miner programs um, for CPU and GPU. So we have XM rig, which is used only to mine with CPU and we have G, G miner, for example, that is only used to mine with a GPU. In my case, I'm gonna demonstrate first XM rig. I did a modification to the program, so I dropped the donation fee to XMRIG to 0%, and I created this file, Start Mining. If you right-click it, it will ask all the details that you need in order to start mining. So we are going to uh, type algo, because that's the coin. The program will request all the details it needs. So we type algo, then we enter the address, we select allocation, we name our worker and we uh, type enter, um, just wait a couple of seconds, uh, press enter again and the program will start. It will make all the connections to the unminable pool and the process um, is, uh, is now active, mining. Then I'm going to do a demonstration. Let's uh, leave it running for a couple of uh, seconds there and let's do a demonstration with G minor. The same thing, we have a starter mining file, we right click it, run as administrator, and then uh, the program will ask for all the details. So we just type algo, enter an address, um, allocation. If you have a four gigabytes uh, GPU, you type etc hash. If your uh, card has more than four gigabytes, you type et hash. Enter, and then um, the name for the worker. And at this point, the program starts. Uh, I cannot mine with a one gigabyte card, so it's, it's gonna uh, give me an error now. But in your case, you will see how it will start building the DAG. 
uh, once it reaches 100%, it will start making all the connections to the pool and you will start mining. If we come back to XM Rig, we can see that we have uh, some other connections to the mining pool. If we press the letter H, we can see our hash rate or speed, which at the moment is 1600. It's not giving me full potential because I am recording at the moment, but it should give me around 1860, something like that. So this is all there is to it. It's very simple. I'm available in Telegram. The link is in the description. If you have any questions, any help with the setup and optimizations, uh, let me know. Contact me there. I'm happy to help you. Um, so this is all. Thank you so much for watching and see you on the next video.